I'm bringing five with me in uh, December. Five with me? Five. <laughs> <laughs> chewy, 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 chewy. <laughs> five people. Oh, you bring five people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh. That's perfect. Tell them how beautiful is the art. They're gonna see. And you know, I got the footage. That's what's going on, y'all. So, we come out here to the Grand Van tonight. What the hell? What's going on? I'm gonna say, it's a pretty good deal. I think it's worth the money. The thing that I always get to eat is the fish and the broccoli. Other stuff I try. But yeah, the fish is always great. It's either baked or steamed. I don't know what they actually, how they actually prepare it. But I know it's one of the other because it tastes no, basically no oil, just juicy and then it's steamed broccoli. And the waitress is cool. I guarantee you this lady come by before I finish this video to mess with me and try to get me to get a blue Hawaiian. So I've been drinking them all day. I'm ordering another blue Hawaiian tonight, three hours before bed. But last time I said that, she just brung it anyway. But it's all inclusive, so they're free. And the place has a game room, pool tables, ping pong tables. The guy just stopped me a minute ago because I played ping pong with another day. He was saying that, that sometime tonight there's some kind of event. What do we call it? Silent DJ. Silent movie? No, silent DJ or something. What are you talking about? What's the thing? So some people are they everyone has fun. I don't know, I don't get it, but now I have to see what this is because I've never heard of such a thing. Uh, I can't even compute, it doesn't make sense. So there's got to be something to it. It's all inclusive, all of the food, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and there's always a variety. It ain't like they hold back because it's all inclusive. This is not one of those trick deals, like some of the breakfasts at the hotel. Nah, this, so I don't understand why half of these people are not laid off though right now. I don't want, I'm glad they're not. I just, it just makes sense to me. But of course, I'm an observer on the outside. I don't know what other types of special packages they have going on where there's higher margins that will make up for some of the other opportunities that they have available. Y'all already know I'm not paying retail or the, at least I'm not paying the highest price for anything. I'm trying to put money in PayPal. For the matter, video if I can get it at one or two below. But yeah, this place is awesome. I was telling them that I might leave tomorrow. Well, I already only got the room up till tomorrow because I evaluate and then I decide whether I'm going to extend it. I'm going to be here. I got another week here, but I'm not going to just book the room for all of that time because I need to make sure it's well. For one thing, I want to check out several spots so I can give feedback on different locations. But the other thing is, it needs to be able to accommodate my needs. So one issue that I was having was the internet wasn't fast enough, wasn't consistent, consistently fast enough. And he was asking me, like, hey, well, I only book you till Monday. You leaving Monday, right? I was like, well, actually, I'm not, I'm leaving here Monday, maybe. I might extend it a day, but I want to go snorkeling or whatnot. But I'm going to be here in the off for another month. And then I was like, I need internet. So I know I'll probably leave him on it. It needs to be fast because I need to use it. And he's like, oh, well, that's no problem. Now he's like, we'll, we'll get on it tomorrow. I was like, well, what about today? He got on the phone. He said, well, you got something harder for me to fix? That's all. I was like, oh, snap. Okay. So yeah, I know I'm going snorkeling tomorrow. Take some classes, beginner classes. And then after the beginner class snorkeling in the pool, then they take you there to actually go scuba dive yeah so i probably will extend tomorrow at least but i also want to check out their other property which is actually a lot more expensive because that is geared toward couples this is is open to families kids are allowed but their other property is adult only so no kids are allowed and there's a large emphasis on romantic set setups for couples so i want to check that out only so that i can report back to the people and they'll know whether or not to if, if it's worth the money that's a lot more but they have these different packages and i don't know if i'll actually purchase any of these packages it's just me but i do want to at least stay at the hotel so i can tell you what the experience is like at the hotel i anticipate it's going to be awesome same again like, like i said it's one of these the company that owns this hotel is one of their properties so i expect it's going to be just awesome like this is what it costs. So I'm gonna stay there and then I probably drop down because I also want to be able to report on Airbnbs in the area for people who want to come to Costa Plata. And that's what it is. 
and of course, especially my truckers that's one wanting to take a break from the highway and get on out here, relax, and want to get on out here and relax. Yeah, we don't have any money to waste because the race is just not paying enough. And that's how I got out here. I was like, I'm trying to work on different projects. Every time I'm at the house, I'm wasting time I'm getting on the board. I'm supposed to be working on something else, and I'm getting on the board looking for a load that doesn't pay anything. So why waste time? looking at these ridiculous pitiful loads i might as well and as long as i'm at the house i'm going to allow myself to be distracted because apparently as I, apparently i am addicted to trucking so if i leave and the truck is not here maybe i won't get on a load boy and i've gotten on it twice since i've been here but i still can't get in the truck and take a load so it's not like i'm going to book a load so that's my workaround and that's what i was talking about in one of the other videos when i said you need to know where they're you need to know yourself well enough to navigate the things that distract you, the ways in which you can apply yourself. The better you know yourself, the more you can, the more efficient you can be. And that means you can move across this. I'm learning. Yeah, the more, the better you know yourself, then the better you can become at managing yourself all the way around and getting what you want out of your endeavors. And because my goal here, that's why I need the internet, is to apply myself in such a way that I can supplement the company's income so it's not so dependent on rates. I already told y'all, I mean, the reason I can keep turning down these loads is because when I'm off duty, I'm working on other stuff. So it's all about how you apply your time. But you know, it's, I, I really need to turn up the volume on the focus to beef up that income and generate some recurring income for the company so that the fixed expenses are covered and beyond that. But at minimum, the fixed expenses are covered weekly. So that means I'll be able to take as much time off as I want anytime and it doesn't have any type of negative impact. But you know, right now I can afford to just not take a load when it's not paying a decent rate. No, I need to be able to take that envision traveling a lot more and breaking away from the truck from this amount of time. I've been here since Thursday, today is Sunday. But I hadn't taken a load all week. So I've been all really Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday went. No, I didn't work one of those days. I took no, 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 I took two loads since Friday. So but I forgot what day, but Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And all those days I took two loads. And then from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, today is Sunday, I've been here. So I can do that because of how I spend my time. How I tell you guys to have something else that you can work on that is able to bring you in money. That way you are empowered and you are able to turn down these cheap paying loads from the brokers. Because the people keep taking these loads and they'll never raise the rates on these loads. So you have to figure out a way that you'll be able to turn down these loads. And obviously you have a fixed expense if you own the truck every week. You can't turn it down if you don't have some another way of generating income. Now, should I tell them now? I'm working on something that's called Retire From Trucking. And that is going to be a training on just that. So if you're interested. I don't know if there's gonna be a link in the description or not. If there is, go to the link in the description and sign up on a waiting list for when I get all of this organized and situated, situated so that you can begin as soon as it released in the early stages. So I'll have to go ahead and share this with you. Oh, 20 people that join, but for those 20 people, my plan is for you to be able to exceed your fixed costs by the first of the year and by July 4th, you are able to join me in reti retiring from trucking all together. What you got? That was, I don't know what it was. That was Grand Vantana. Yes. I never heard of that. I'll take it though. I wasn't aware of that one. It was some kind of alcoholic drink, but I, I forgot what it was. But yeah. July 4th, I'm retiring all together. Again, I just watch the video, it's called Addicted Truck. I'm not gonna go into what's so deep on all of the things that enhance my desire to retire next year. There's always been a loose idea, but at some point, a little while ago, I was like, yo, this is enough is enough. I'm retiring. As a matter of fact, you're still here. I'm going to share something else with you because I hadn't made the announcement yet, but it will be an announcement. It will be its own video. My plan is to give away $10 million in 2030. So in order to give away $10 million in 2030, I need to start making some money and I need to be able to think and I need to be able to apply myself and I need to be able to eliminate distractions which 
trucking calls as well because I'm addicted to trucking. It's, I'm simplifying it. It's more complex than that. I am addicted to trucking, but also the situation wasn't ideal or isn't ideal. Rate isn't paying anything. It would be much easier to go ahead and get that money in the stop so I can position the company so that I can sell it or do whatever I want to do. But if I want to sell it, we're just making plenty of money, you know? No one is making plenty of money in truck because the race just doesn't pay you enough to make plenty of money consistently. Now I have a course that I'm working on that's gonna help you get more as a rate with the current conditions. But even that is iffy because since I came back after running the food line drop and hook, it's been even more tricky. But I, I do have a video coming up about rate negotiation and relationships. And in particular, I was talking about this load that I was on where another video that's 1,000 or 3,000 extra per month. And all that is true and still relevant. Assuming that you can get loads consistently, but still doing things in this particular way is going to put you in a position to be able to ex make that extra income. And if you don't do it this way, you're, it's impossible to make it because you're just not managing your time in such a way to be available to make it, even if the loads do come. You can't take advantage of it. So make sure you watch that video. But what was my point? Man, this is a long video. This is 20 minutes right here. This is a vlog, I guess. Is it a podcast? Maybe too much background noise to be a podcast. But it's definitely a vlog. All right, so let me tell you some of the other videos that's coming up. You want to, no, let me tell you about this. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to work on the different levels or the different things that it can address. Like one in particular is that like truckers, so like I haven't taken a vacation for a decade. What's this? I mean, I stopped driving, but I went back to school. It's not a vacation because when I get into stuff, so when I went back to school, I said, well, I'm here. I might as well make the honor roll. And then I said, well, I'm going to put in all of that effort to make the honor roll. I might as well run for a president of the honor society. I might as well join the honor society. Okay, I'm in the honor society. I, I'm president of the honor society. I might as well try to get some of these awards for our, what do you call it? For, for our chapter. So I did. That's, and that's, that's, that's what I did. So it wasn't really a break. It wasn't, and I didn't have time for vacation. So I haven't taken a vacation in I don't know how long. And I feel like truckers need and deserve to actually take a vacation. And I'm gonna tell you what, you'll see some of the footage from this area. And when you meet some of the people out here, you'll see that not only is the area relaxing, but the people are so cool. Like this. The beach. Hola, mi amigo. <laughs> you can see the oh, yeah. beautiful night there. Yeah. So yeah, that's nice. That's so nice. Okay, how much I run? Bought this one? I already bought mm -hmm. Oh, you're 35 for you. Special price. <coughs> I see you on 